Hello everyone, welcome to the new video computer network. So in this video, uh, I am going to demonstrate about uh, how to configure a router which will act as a DHCP server so that uh, uh, the PCs under uh, one particular network will get IP address automatically assigned by DHCP server. Now for that purpose to act this router as a DHCP server, uh, we need to program this router with the help of uh, command line interface uh, that is CLI. So let's do this. Uh, so for this purpose, I'm going to use a simple network with one router, one switch and four, four PCs. First PC, second, third and a fourth PC. So let's connect these all devices and PCs together. That's it. We have connected all the PCs to the switch and switch we have connected to the router. Now click on a router. Go to CLI. You can find it CLI here. And now once you enter into the CLI, it is asking would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog. So here just type no and hit enter. Then one more time hit enter. So now you, are, you have entered into the router configuration. So here uh, first, uh, firstly we have to enable a router okay? because all these red lines you can see that router is not enabled, it is not turned on. So for that purpose and to enter into the router uh, command we have to write enable command. So you can directly write in enable sp uh, complete spelling or you can use a abbreviation as en. Now you can see router hash means now whatever we are writing here router will accept so uh, first of all I want to configure this terminal terminal means router connecting to the switch this line this terminal I have to configure okay so I have to write it here a command as conf okay which is the abbreviation of configuration and T which is terminal conf T I have to write and hit enter Okay, so now just hover on this line and you can see gig 0 slash 0 slash 0. Okay, towards this router side. Okay, so just go here and write interface that is int space gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 and hit enter okay now we have entered into the uh, configuration for that particular interface now i am suppose writing here ip address okay ip address i am assigning ip address to that uh, terminal as suppose 200.200.200.200 okay so just and I have to also mention the subnet mask. So 255, 255.255.255.0 .255 because this is a class C IP address and then hit enter. Okay. And now write no shutdown. Okay. And hit enter. Now just see on the left hand side now these red lines okay now turn to green because now router is turn on I hit one more time enter and now we have to configure this router as a DSCP server these are the basic configuration that we have made about router now to act this router as a DSCP server so whatever uh, required CLI program we want that I am going to write now so that the router will act as a DSCP server so here just write do write memory ok so I am writing into the router's memory 
okay so it is uh, it has mentioned here building configuration okay now ip dscp pool okay so i am writing ip dscp pool and i am giving it a name as this is my suppose first network so net1 okay so if you are having two routers in a network then you can configure it as net1 to one and net2 to the other net1 i am going to write name to this dscp pool dscp pool means pool of ip address i am going to create so ip dscp pool net1 so net1 is a name to that dscp pool okay now i am going to mention network id so which network so network as i have already used 200.200.200.200 as ip address to the router so i have to mention same okay because i want same network id and 255.255.255.0 as a subnet mask okay so this is the network i am i am going to create default router okay so same router i am going to use because i am having only one router a default router is this one okay enter and now we are going to exit from this cli window so i am writing exit here and that's all for this cli program now we are going to close this and now i am going to check whether any of my pc will be getting ip address automatically from the dscp server or not so for that click on any one pc go to ip configuration and click on dscp you can observe here this pc has got ip address automatically from the dscp pool uh, of ip addresses from the dscp server and it has also got uh, the subnet mask and default gateway address has also uh, automatically appears here so uh, this shows that our configuration is accurate and correct now for other pcs we will see uh, the simulation of this dscp uh, protocol with the help of uh, simulation window uh, so now i am clicking on uh, another pc go to desktop ip configuration and click on dscp so on the right hand side you can observe that uh, dscp uh, packets uh, appears and now we will capture and forward the packets so packet leaves from that pc and goes to all the pcs and server also the server accepts that packet other pcs will discard them and now uh, there will be a reply from the server to all the pcs that uh, about uh, arp and now all these pcs will discard that because they are not ready and if any other packet comes it will also be getting discarded by all the pcs now the server that is router is it is going to advertise about its availability to all the pcs all other pcs will discard only um, the pc from which i have initiated a communication it has uh, accepted the request and now that pc will send reply in the form of uh, request as to get the ip address from the dscp server so it will be reached to all but only server will accept it and now that server will reply with the available ip address now you, we can verify it so in this way this pc has also got the ip address from the available dscp pool of addresses and it has also got a um, subnet mask and default gateway so now we can verify and uh, check the details about dscp packets by clicking on the dscp in the event window so it shows all the information uh, about the uh, captured dscp packet and uh, it shows the details when we are clicking in the respective field and it shows that dscp is a seventh layer protocol so that's it we have successfully configured router as a dscp server uh, using cli program and we have allotted ip address automatically to all the pcs